All right, welcome back to your balance diet of 30 minutes. Good morning, Ninja Show. Our Christmas episode uh, of the show um, today. We're very excited. Again, Merry Christmas to everybody where they celebrate Christmas. And just a few days from now, we go enter 2020. Are you, 2020, sorry. Are you prepared? Now, after you don't watch that particular trailer, you're going to wonder who we get inside the house. Now, we get the man we actually play Nandi OKK for inside that movie. Join me, welcome, Jide Kene Ashufusi. Ashufusi inside the house. Nandi, how you doing? Uh, Kene. Oh, <laughs> I, no, Nandi for the movie, yeah. but Kene for real life. How are yes, you doing? Good, Merry yeah. Christmas, first same, of all. Same to you guys. No, before, you actually, before we actually go into this interview, anybody who entered the studio must be at this one. Yeah, exactly. This was, is yours. I was wondering when uh -huh. I'll join the party. Uh, now, Christmas my, edition. My big Don't worry, just put on two. <laughs> okay. You see, perfect size. Yeah. Nice. Looks like it. I look like Santa. Nice. <laughs> I really look like Santa. Now, tell us a little bit about your, your career, how you take start. I mean, what did make you even join the entertainment industry? Because from waiting you reach for school and what you're doing now, they're two different things. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you, you know, say, most people, we don't the house. My parents didn't let me get, get out as much. They tried to provide every entertainment inside house. So all those TV I watched that time, it make me they like waiting what they do for Nollywood. So... Almost everybody at one time had a Nollywood hero. You know, somebody they look, ah, Genevieve is so fine, or Hank Sanuku is so such a bad boy, whatever it was, you know. So right from time, I can tell you that almost every Nigerian boy would want to be an actor at one point mm -hmm. or the other. So I simply just had to, you know, follow the line, uh, auditions and everything. So I'm happy to be here. I like that. Now, before we even dive into living in bondage, how long you don't do for inside the industry? And tell us some of your most challenging movies where you don't actually act inside. Thank you. Unprofessionally, I've been trying to go to rehearsals and all of those things from when I was in school. Okay. So unprofessionally, we say eight years. Yeah, but professionally, when I graduated in 2014, that was when I started to go into professional auditions and castings and everything. And, you know, it's been very challenging, trust me, because, you know, you have to start from small. In the East, you have to, I, I live in the East, so you have to start with a plain palace guard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, from palace guard, they give you your first boyfriend role. Okay. And if you now happen to be a married man, you have made it in life. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. So they have, they have ways, you know, mm -hmm. Nigerian stories don't usually have scenes or stories where younger people are the protagonists. Mm. Like, let's say, a 15-year-old boy mm -hmm, or yes. high school movie. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I've done a couple of films that are very challenging. I have a series now that's shown on Netflix, okay. Crazy Lovely Cool. Oh. Yeah, it's the first okay. Nigerian series to be on Netflix. And there's that thing I'm telling you about now, about having young people play the lead character. So we had university students from UNN and Soka to actually play lead. And for it to be the first series on Netflix, it's quite original, you know, so. That's beautiful. Yeah. Now looking at, um, looking at this, or this um, living in bondage and the audition, tell us how the audition will go for you and how you take manage, mm -hmm. fit into the role <coughs> of Nambi with the need at a point in time. I've been there for Lagos here when I first see the advert. Ramsey was doing a video and he said, if you know you can, be and your KK son sent in a one mini video. And after having been in the industry for five years, I told myself, I'm a, these people, they know their self. They know how they do it. I'm not even going to stress myself because I've been to countless auditions and they say, we'll call you back. And they never get to call back. So I didn't do the video. After like a month or so, somebody called me and said that they are now looking for a particular criteria that I should do the video. I said, okay, since you are calling me now, I will do the video. <laughs> so I did the video. They're still weren't convinced. They had to come to Enugu because they had like regional auditions, Bini, Enugu, Abuja, Lagos. So when they came face to face, you know, we read over seven times. I still had to come back to Lagos. It was a very tedious process, but it was worth it. I, I want, the day I met Steve Gukas, I took a bike from Elaje, a Java stop, mm. to Suriliri. <gasps> what? Yeah. It was raining that day, but I told myself, listen, one, I mean, I mean, I would say one shot. You have to take your opportunity. Wow. So it was raining. I didn't even see. I asked the bike man, bros, how you taste this? And I go, do. I said, wow. <laughs> but, we, you know, yeah, it was worth it. 
as well. So getting the role that almost every Igbo actor had auditioned for in Lagos here, nationwide audition. People came from the UK to audition as well. You know, so it's such a big film, mm -hmm. being the film that started in Hollywood. So yeah. to be able to be the person that was, you know, chosen to play the role, I knew I had to give 150%. Mm. Yeah. Now, make we talk about the role now where you play for Inside Living in Bondage. Now, we see you, uh, you brought your talk, said you metamorphose into from a village boy to the person where you start to the drive car. Now, I Posh inside, cars, you Posh mean. cars. Right. I be there inside one argument with some people, and they talk, say they actually prefer you when you were a village guy. Say your acting skills were totally like top notch. Okay. Tell us the different challenges, or rather, you face any setback just switching to being the rich guy for inside this movie? Yeah, we actually planned that we were going to film the poor parts, okay, and then move to the rich parts. But Niger, Lagos traffic, everything you know, you can't really just get around. So, since we're going to be shooting, we just ended up doing it anyhow, Mixing like everything. we do here, do here, mm. and hoped we achieved the, uh, the goal. So, well, being a village boy... Now, English, they speak for us since, so maybe you know. <laughs> you know? You never really come down okay. to Niger people. Mula no vex, Mula no vex. So, you know, when, you, when, you, when you reach time for me to be village boy, now something I don't there used to, I'd be village boy, like, as I did, I said, I'd be village boy. <laughs> we all are village yeah. people. <laughs> okay, but then, when you can't reach to... Guess more money. Okay. You guys, they show Lua say this thing go fit you. So you guys behave, you know. You guys really show say money go fit you. I mean, I don't look nice, Zaraka. Uh, Everybody go look nice, Zaraka. <laughs> I mean, I'm a really jig guy kind of guy. But look, looking at the production, how long it be take for this movie? Oh, they see the final effect. So how long it be take for now to do the production? Six months. And waiting, where be the locations we wanna use? Uh, we shoot for where? We shoot for Lagos, all over Lagos. Then we we'll go South Africa, shoot for Durban. They get one other scene where we do for Monaco, but they don't ever <coughs> put down for the film. Uh -huh. mm. Just money we, we waste. Mm. Oh, is it wasted? Because right now the money we are here saying box office money. <laughs> oh, now don't recover on top of this one. That's why you're smiling this way. <laughs> I can see that. If you don't say you're smiling, still taking that role. Now, it make me measure waiting to happen now in reality. We they see a lot of young Nigerians being arrested, so they took their hands for inside badness and um, different things like that way, not they very legal for them to get money. Now, taking that role alone, how you take Sam? Uh, I mean, uh, I, mean I, do, I always tell myself, say, when people ask me, say, which kind of role do you, you do take? I say, and they take a role where go free help me teach people something. Mm. Yeah, I don't just want to be star away anywhere with people. In fact, I don't, I don't try to snap pictures. yourself. I just want to teach, you know, use my personality. Because many people feel relate. Some people where I see, they tell me, saying, and the part where they pitch business for the film, and they didn't see themselves many years ago. And uh, <coughs> one other person with a Yankee say, ah, I make them remember where they make them remember village, you know, whatever. But you know, so the message is about illegal and, yeah, I should be with the ESA. money. With the ESA people, they kidnap people anyhow. Yes. If you ask them, you'll see full and Some people say, don't be full and say, nah, Igbo boys, they try to make money. Different stories, you know, so whichever one it is, we just hope that we are able to teach and let people know that um, if you're good, you're good. Take your time. You know, the blessing will come. You understand? All this backyard way to success is not really... So that's why when we are doing the film, we have to make it believable. Maybe may, may not be like, say, the watch film. Maybe like, say, uh, yourself, you see. You understand? Yeah. Now, looking at the, looking at the story and... Um, the reality of waiting to happen for inside Nigeria for 2019, we they see the fast rich get rich quick syndrome where they happen for you, and um, that now why for inside Lagos State now they don't come outside. They try and make sure see the operatives, security operatives, they check meet anybody we get one kind of funny look. Um, looking at that, uh, and also looking at the situation of things for young people for inside the society, how you feel say if it too we fit individually, collectively, government-wise, we fit to make sure that the youngsters no go find that too difficult to excel well in the society. Because just as you do for inside the field where you go out, you do proposal, you leave your current work. Because say that company advice, say if you leave them, we'll think give you one or two contracts. At the end of the day, no. you try to do it the legal way. Say as frustration can follow on top of your destiny. And now, to do it the legal way, company license, and now, and now and they switch pass. Waiting with you to do individually, collectively, government-wise, non-government-wise, to make sure say, our youngsters, they fit to excel without so much frustration? Uh, that one, uh, real government work with that too. Mm. Because most people could tell you, I don't suffer, I don't suffer, I don't be small. 
I don't try this one, you know, work. I don't try that. And most times we say, no be hard work, they pay. Mm. That's not grace of, no, sometimes grace of God and smart work. Because it's not by hard work. People waiting for pack, go get money, pass everybody. Because mm -hmm. of them wake up, pass early, go late in the night. So I feel, say, for every young person out there, the most important thing is for us to cultivate that lifestyle of gratitude and being okay with what you have. I agree. If this is on my phone now, I don't suppose they look your own phone. I don't know what you do. I don't know how you take it. But now that's a uh, longer <coughs> truth. I want to reach here. No, no, be me. Come, the world suffer. That's the biggest problem. You understand? So even when we are waiting for our country, may for reach where we want may day, make job employment day. We must also cultivate that habit of being contented with waiting we get. Mm. That's number one. You know. So if I have this to wear, I have to appreciate it. You get. If I if I not suit the hungry me, I go wait. When the money come, I go buy the suit. Mm -hmm. Now, the, before, before we actually go into the Christmas mood and whether you get anything for people for this Christmas, I just be very interested in that particular role and scenes with Munachi because it was so natural. I don't be like saying, Una, don't be friends even we before Una start to the here. act. Mm. Now, tell us how that uh, connection to work with Munachi. Are you blushing? <laughs> because really, you, you blushing? Like, say, Una, know Una self before. <laughs> Everything just connect like one way or the other. Yeah, well... <clears throat> so I'm strong. Uh, you got to clear your nose <laughs> or clear your throat. Okay. I can see a little bit of pink. I'm uh, just saying. Uh, uh. Is someone black. <laughs> okay, okay, so um, the first time where I meet Muna, that day where I take that bike come. You understand? I said, I don't think that bike rain don't beat me everywhere. I'd be like, you know, far away, they put side hot water, I can't come out and send me a go. Mm. So I look myself eh, and I was made to understand that they define who go get chemistry with Muna. Because it needs to work. You understand? So when they talk that one, I tell myself, say, Omo, you better find the chemistry. If it's to remove the biology and the physics, find, <laughs> follow the chemistry. So you okay. have to intentionally be nice. Okay. You have to warm up to somebody. People cannot automatically like you. Mm. You know, so I'm like, she's going. I'm like, let me walk you to the car. You know? So we had to do a lot of work behind. They even had to ask us to take time out, like hang out. out. But this time, they never tell you, say, you don't get the role. Yeah, at that time, we don't almost the finalize. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it was just a matter of uh, congrats or, you know, officially. Okay. Yeah, so that was when I met her. We read, they took pictures of us. So every time on set, if you see saying that this person, now nah, you and I'm going to play that role. When you come, no go sit down the other side. Sit down, talk, mm -hmm. be free. No waiting the person you like because the guidelines lines where they will give you, you guys change them. Talk something, we go sweet. Oh, so for, sometimes yeah. you do change the line. Yeah, it's a little a bit. A little bit, you mm, tweak it. You don't move out from the Context. original. Or you mm. can ad lib. Ad lib means to add, to say something. Like, you get sometimes where you go talk the English, you know, enter, speak the Igbo, you go enter. Mm. Mm. Since the release of this film, I don't take actually help to skyrock your acting career. Don't, don't over try you. I've no day, you know. <laughs> I've no day, and I have a lot of uh, gigs, like acting jobs, where yes. they look. Man, no, whatever. Because many people don't text me, say, Oh, see, I see, be now, eh? Would they believe you die? Mm. One, no, it's be the next one where you go do. Hey, where you did since? So, as we talk, I don't already tell myself, say, Okay, man, no good, they do everyone, everyone, everyone. No matter how interesting it looks, I go try, maintain, wait for that one. So, when next you see my face for the poster, you don't say, Ah, this one go show. That's the goal. Even if you can't balance, you know, sing as much as you're supposed to sing. Now, now the prayer single. for 2020, yeah. our yeah, account so balance must sing. sing. Yeah, you must so. sing, go sing, go sing. Okay, so now, um, looking at, I don't say you be actor for inside there, but maybe you used to get the role to play in ensuring or in making sure, say, um, before they release and come cinema, or before individuals get access to them, um, in a way, in a way, piracy, it is cop to an extent. So how would I take manage as a team? How would I take manage to ensure, say, piracy of this particular movie, no good as gallant as others be they? Mm. That was a very big fear when we did release. So because sometimes if we do a <coughs> Nugu premiere, instead of what they go give me, my carry go Nugu, they protected my interest to avoid anybody talking to me about courts or anything. They go send person. The person go hold on for hand like this now, come play them. So they even had to send out uh, contracts to all the cinemas. Whoever is the person that's playing it will be the only person that has access to it. Mm -hmm. So if it leaks in your town, we will hold you responsible because piracy has dealt with us. That's probably why we don't make enough money like the musicians do. The musicians have found a way to milk their industry, even when their music is now. If you download the music for your phone, 
but they have found a way to, to, to make that money back without actually being affected. So now I make you, they go to their show, they pay money, but actors, nobody they do show now. You know if you come see RMT show, you know that kind of thing. So that's the reason why our industry is not giving the fans the kind of movies, high quality movies they deserve. You know, so we've tried to put in close to 200 million mm. to make Protective. living in bondage. You understand? Know to see that we we'll give the real quality. Don't be just me watch a movie after you wonder whether you really learn anything. I enjoy myself. Everybody who has seen living in bondage, some people have seen it five times. Oh you yes, know, yeah. So my producer don't actually see him more than five times, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. In fact, the but last time we did the Inbi, actually did there. I'm telling you, and I was like, what <laughs> again? <laughs> Thanks to Bonji, they can I say again? Very last question: Is there gonna be a part three? Because the way we did it end, the bad guy enter inside playing Vamos. <laughs> Is there any hope of a part three, even if it's in fifty years' time? Just my last question. Part three to come. Woo. All right, so <laughs> everybody just hold on, just hold on and say, as from the mouth of Jide Kene, say, uh, part three, feet actually come for living in bondage. But before you wait for part three, go watch the, this part where they for inside Breaking cinema. Free. Go and watch it. No other person tell you, go actually watch them. How you did the Sunday of Christmas? <sighs> I did go village. Oh. Uh -uh. Mm. After Christmas, I'll be village boy now. Oh. Today is Christmas Day, so after this one, so in the Wakago village. I just see me, I just day. You go enjoy but yourself. the rest of the distance, I okay. they go, I they go oh. for me and I they go village. One night, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks much. For Thank you so much. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos, when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.